They had they had three songs. Been a while, and then it was. Uh, All right. How did they go? Wow. I don't know. It's been a while. Possibly oh, past yeah. any harder. Isn't that Creed? Mm-hmm. That's a. Uh, 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 Creed is. Um, Creed is. With her arms wide open. That they were doing like. <sighs> I'm the performer of bullshit. If I had just one wish and something, something. Ugh. Yeah, they were like power rock for the Lord. But they, they, they were like, about the God yeah, they were like the doing like a, 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 right a Pearl Jam yeah. voice, like a like a yeah, like an Eddie Vedder, Eddie Vedder a bad owner. Which but it was good. It was like it was close enough to Vedder, but different enough that I was like, okay, you maybe you boys are gonna turn into an interesting band. What? But then all of a sudden the Christian shit came out, and you're like, oh, no. that's what's going on. Yeah, that's, that's why you suck. <laughs> you suck because you're trying to cram in your I, religion to every I, yeah, song. Yeah, that's you can't just write a song. You gotta make a Jesus song. O- overt Christian songs are garbage. Garbage. You can't make it work. Like, There's just no poetry. Poetry. Of course you can. You can't write a Christian rap that's beautiful. You can't write not beautiful things about you can Jesus. You can make a song. You can make a song. Uh, I mean, like a song I'm not saying them. it's impossible. But I'm saying usually it's too overt. There's no... Like it's I want clever mystery. It's not risky enough. It's like, no, like stay. I want like, you give me a good no, no, I'm not giving you a bunch. Shut the fuck up. I want you. I want money from the past. I'm poor as fuck, and I'm smoking out of a crack pipe, dude. Never mind. You get out here. It's a big problem. I don't have enough. Like you're like a dick. Put the meat back. But you don't always. But some days you're like, I'll give you twenty tomorrow, and you don't have the money tomorrow. I need a cushion. I can't be like breaking okay, my, but if it wasn't my tomorrow, emergency. Was it the next day though? Because if it was the next day, thing, you need to stop fucking talking like that. Like I, I say tomorrow, and then it's not tomorrow, but it's the next day. Like I'm too stressed really, out to deal with you it. You really live in like I'm that? literally too stressed out to fucking deal with it. Right this second, like I ran out of space. I'll get you high. I want you remember that. I'll get I want you, you high. remember that phrase. This is fucking. No, dick. I want you to remember the feeling just, in the phrase. Just, Go away, for fuck's sake! Know. I don't, I don't need this. I, want you to rem- I don't Bro, want this. That's what I'm saying. I'll stop loving you if you just keep torturing me. I, I have, I've been there for you many times. I want you to recognize. Right now, I want to fix something and talk to Annie for a minute. I want, you to, I want to come up with a code word so that I can say the same word, say a word back to you, so you can recognize what I'm going through. Really? About something that you're doing, it's or other people are doing. Then I'll leave. Like, then I'll leave her. We won't talk anymore. It's fine. You cannot find another me. There are, to find it, there are literally dozens. There are literally dozens. You? There are you know, dozens of you. There are dozens of you. Bro, you guys are being as rude and in the and world. There are not dozens of Johns. Everybody is one in five hundred million. Sounding stupid. I like John. You're to you. Stupid. To you. No, objectively. A smaller brain, objectively. A smaller brain, objectively. Just stop talking, and then you will sound smarter. To you. A, an objectively, admittedly smaller and slower mind. Do you mind? My brain is fast as fuck. You will never get on stage with me. You will snipe shot for your whole life. You will never get on stage with me. You will snipe me. Ever. And you're invited. I will spirit duel you at any time. And if you do what John does, which is repeat anecdotes that you read, you ain't gonna get any points. Anyone can spout somebody else's ideas all fucking day long and then ignore their friends because they're intimidated and be violent with them. Pretend like the other guy is a horrible person who doesn't deserve dignification as a human being. There's a reason why he plays Satan. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's, the, he's like... He the Satan of he my. He's the Satan of the Hobo Sapiens. Uh, you are the animal. There's a whole bunch of like pacifists here to protect him. Right he's a See, he, wa- he wants to like he wants to violently strike me down. He does, but he also was not talking to you. Look at the fuck. He doesn't talk to me at all. He's in a group of people and he plays a weird sociopathic game where he completely ignores me to like, trigger me and make me feel like shit. And he can. He's enjoyed me before. Laughed very hard when he hears funny shit, but he always tries not to. It's like going to a party when you I'm like, oh, like, when they just just hear my story for a second. Like, 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 this was a relatively original story. I did hear from someone, and you go, you go to the party, and you're like, oh, so and so isn't here, or so and so isn't here, 
but you got to learn to enjoy the people who are at the party. No, again, so he, he yes. So he's not at your party. That's all. But John is over here like freaking out on me because I won't give him weed. When I have no contract, no duty, right? Nothing. I'm just his friend. And he guilts the shit out of me and he basically threatens me. Like, I'm going to say the same thing. What are you saying? Remember what you're saying so I can say the same shit back to you. That's Trump shit. I give him, I, I've given him weed hundreds of times because he was needy. He's my friend and he was fucking needy. I'm not judging him, but he was needy. He gave up on his money making, became a bum, and sometimes he may take advantage of his friends. Like me, to $700 that I need and can't get. Whatever, it is what it is. And he threatens to punch me in the face for saying that, but I'm like, you, you just manipulated me and used me a little bit. And, and, if I, and I can't even talk about it and you won't pay me back. And you threaten me with violence if I do. It's a really cool situation to be in. He's already got a bad reputation. He's a boy himself. He's not careful. Just like people that think, this is a fucking... Like, smart guy, handsome guy, entertaining, but a, soci- a bit of a sociopath, and he took advantage of more than, like, hundreds of people. He still, he still owes 30 grand worth of fucking shit to the internet. I think he'll do something good in his life, but he still owes people in the real world who promise them. And, like, that's fucking, like, that's, you know, and I still venture to, like, try to help him, but it's enabling. John seems so normal in a way. He's obviously fucked up too. It's, it's interesting that like we go from Obama to fucking hanging out here like basically asking him to wait almost every fucking night and then sometimes just not paying at all and just pretending like it didn't happen. He's as like oblivious as my father in some respects. Like he won't take beautiful hits of weed from his friend for free. He'll shit for free. He'll shit on him. Because he can't get a huge joint to obliterate his brain and try to like, play in my range, which he doesn't do anyways. He just ends up in more jontification mode. And yeah, I get frustrated when slightly more regular people are like, oh yeah, John's more entertaining than the average fucker in the world. John has stories to tell. And I'm like, well, these people could be involved in some stuff that's profound and changes their lives and allows them to truly relax in the relatively near-term future instead of needing, you know, four hours of bullshit a night to calm down after work. Again, I think you're in a good situation. It doesn't seem like work is stressful. But some people never get out of state, right? Even you have before, right? It's like, it's too it's too much they need. And then they just go home and like, I'm going to be dumb, right? I'm going to be nothing. I'm going to just... It's just wind, unwind, wind, unwind, wind, unwind. For a lot of people. I just say wow, completely wow, right? Instead of unwinding for real, I just beat off real quick and then you have to go back to the wine, go back to the grind. Spend more time out of my mind. Where every new idea is mine, and it's fine, and most of it rhymes. Doesn't always make sense to tiny minds. Tinier, tinier. But there are definitely, I love John. I do, but there's dozens of Johns. There may be. It's probably no That's not true. I'm not saying they're him. But if you if the whole world were totally honest and rated all the different skills people have, there'd be like a lot of people like they can do all the things that John they can tell stories. Oh, but they're six foot two inches tall, they, they got a nice face. Every personality blah, blah, blah. is unique. So what but that's not but it's not so what it's some obscure just, shit. It's true. I'm, I'm, different. Just, I'm just saying if you talk to anyone, course, you get a totally, totally different. different perspective. But if you have a million people interview those people and and right, the, some kind of uh quantifiable I've never met, system. I've never met have the same anyone like you, Steve, Joel, John, but, but I've Draco, met people. I've Hampton. met people. I've never met anyone like any of them. I've met people like all of you, for sure. Not exactly, but I definitely have friends like That's, you. You can part them. No, I definitely have friends that are. I'm not saying they're identical. It's just a stupid argument. I have had friends that are that are like you. I'm the weirdest person I know, and I don't I don't know anybody who I've asked people. I, nobody's ever said they ever met a man. I don't. I mean. I've, I've known got now I, I wouldn't say you're the weirdest person I know because I've known people that have like given their life to drugs okay and, and are no, positive weird, positive weird help like good, I'm, weird, I'm just good, saying good, to good me weird. that's weird like good that's, weird fuck that fuck people who are destroyed that's a different story if you have nothing to lose you can get super weird but I still enjoyed hanging out with them like it was still cool to talk to them I used to enjoy just hanging out with people and, and like I did until I got more perspective on it and I wrote more. Well, that's, that's, you know, and I, I, I did get some, some, some inspiration from you, like definitely 
I want to be here for like an hour and then go home and do what I consider work, which is reading the online courses, practicing guitar, and taking care of myself, right? And maybe doing some writing too, which kind of goes with like songwriting. Again, you really want to get into it. Um, you can turn the voice memo on when you leave here and you play some instrumental shit. On your car radio, I don't know how you do that. And then just just talk. We'll say nothing. Just talk when you want to. There's nothing wrong with having just like a recording of some shit. I I to. need actually I want to get an, an iPhone, but the I've got a voice recorder, but it sucks because it has ads. So it's the fucking right, worst. Right, right, right. I I I need a better voice recorder. We can do a video, but it just gets more. It like, just, it's too much memory because I have such, such a small phone. Right. This, this thing's annoying as fuck. It keeps running out, and it's... Like, this is one day, and, it, like, it's it's a 64-gigabyte device. How is half of it fucking, like, where? How does fucking half of it run? Like, it's insane that half of it is used. It's an iPad. It's half. I am leaving at 10, dude. I got three minutes. Yeah, good call. Like, I've, I've never, ever in my life, like, treated someone the way John treats me. I mean, I've never been in a position, I've never in my life, like, like owed someone and kept like, hey, you never, did I have to? I guess not, but never. I think it has nothing to do with the fact that I get like a, a huge bar of gold every year from my dad. Of course it does. It's got a lot to do with that shit. It takes away most of my respect. You don't support yourself, therefore you're, you're literally not worthy. It's a great thing to say to kids that are working for the good of our fucking species. That they're not worthy to take their the fuck out of it. Not, not you on this. No, I... No, that's... A true statement. Uh, Some people should be able to work for the good of humanity if they have good brains. Like, what the fuck? None of my factories are that important. We have great products already. It's like, we don't have a lot of cities that are built by people who are directing their own intelligence with a lot of compassion and sympathy and empathy with others who go through all sorts of different shit in the world. In a world where we have the technology to, 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 to have a free planet within at least a couple decades, there's, there's a fucking way even to deal with China. I'm just I'm, away. I'm just more, my focus on helping is within the system. And you're more like, I want to start a, Within the system, new. though. I do want to use, absolutely right. use the system. But I'm just saying, a lot, a, a, a lot of it is starting outside the system. And I, I just... Well, it won't. It won't start outside. The ideas are outside. But the actual start has to be inside. Like, we have to do well, something yeah, probably with my apartment there's, that's there's, physical in the real there's world. No, there's no getting out of the world because they help because you're always in the world let's try to focus like one of these nights or one of these days on uh, what kind of shop we might need like you know if you're like you're working with me but i'm not gonna be there the whole time like what is actually is is that you guys no i'm hamper my weight shit so you just left my shit there i'm like i need a fucking like huh? <laughs> A couple of those or no? How do you like the silver? Did you try? Did you? Did you pay any uh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm good. I, I bought a carton. I got. I can't believe I can't. Four for the ride home. So you like those better than these, right? I do. Sure. I don't like smoking oh, Joes at all. I hate smoking Joes. Because they're different, and you're wrong. My friend who died of the heroin overdose used, used to smoke these. See grow effect. Let's see, bro. Let's see, bro. I love you. Uh, fuck, easy, ass fuck, ass. fuck you, SA. Fuck you, SA. I'm, I'm, I'm calling. He was an asshole for what he did. But right. he would, we would have like the greatest talks. He, he was like all about Karl Marx, and I would like give him a counter argument. We would, we would never get like angry at each other. Just real good fucking discussions, dude. Great. Anyway, but now you're done. How do we get to that? I don't know.
Oh, uh, Seneca and oh, his, cigarettes. His, he used to smoke these. Right. They're fucking gross. They're great. Your taste is terrible. You have these terrible taste. Are Objectively, your taste these is These taste like your dirty dick. Oh, they taste great. Like my clean dick. Oh, that's the difference. You never tasted my dick clean. <laughs> Fuck you. Kids he's, are fucking cute. He's a awesome. handsome. Actually, I feel like most. I think this is an old theory of mine. Not true. Everyone's good looking. They're not. But they're just either overweight or they're too they're too skinny or That's too a fat. Cute one I should have. It's a cute picture. I didn't even know. But look, all those kids are relatively good looking. Now they're relatively good looking. I mean, look at those teeth. Come on. But they're but look like how beautiful they are. No, I'm saying I think mine are better. Are, I, I paid a high her, price. Are you getting her her uh, braces? Yeah. I mean, hopefully, I don't have any fucking money. This is like, you know, seriously, if you if you figure something out for real with my father, if you, if it works out somehow, and you're like, he's like, just deal with me, right? We'll deal, like, we'll have a beer, right? Just mediate when, right. when it comes to business, so uh, we don't fight at all. Right. Like, we tend to blame each other and all this stupid shit, and it, it's, both feel, us, it's both of us. It's both of us. It's both of us. Like, I'll have spreadsheets and shit, and like, yeah, you could, yeah. And I'm saying, like, numbers. like, and, and we'll spread that million out, so it's like. It's like twenty five thousand a year for forty years, and you can just order twenty five thousand dollars worth of like tuna or paper towels or lemons or massages. Because like we're gonna say you having a credit card, it's in a credit I union. Happy end endings. Take, I'm taking off. Oh, damn it. Can I say that? For a cigar? I don't know if I can handle it. I'm on it. a strict schedule. Yeah? I, I gotta be home by I'm, I might stay for a minute for a cigar if it's okay before. And then you just tell me to leave. when. my day, even if I just see him for a second. He's my best friend. Fine, are you this, getting possessive over Angie? In this mind. Andy's nuts, okay? And there's enough of me to go around. And Andy's nuts are plentiful. 260 pounds. Of, he's not nobody. 260? He's a free man. I'm not nobody. Well, no, I I'm nobody. I was 280. And, and I'm nobody, but I'm not no mind. So, I need a little bit of you today for sure. You need some me? Oh. <sighs> I, that's, one, that's great. You hear what she said? I, I, I need that. a little I bit of you. There is no little Broadway's bit of me, but I'll do my best. Word of sarcasm? Or joint. Joint. Oh, oh I don't have my joint. irony, man. I'm like, fuck. Joint, joint. joint. So you don't you don't need a little me tonight. Nope. There's no little me. Nope. You don't. You just want to like. I mean, I can imagine like if you and John sat down and actually recorded it like a real podcast, it would be shut awesome. Shut, you shut. I'm talking. To, I'm allowed to shut say up. the name of my retard shut friend. Up recording. Shut up. He's oh obvious. God. John looks normal as fuck. Shut like, he looks up. normal as fuck. I'm the only one. <laughs> weasel. I'm the only person that's gonna fucking exist in the future. And my rec, like, no, people were not unless you record shit. They, they won't even. The future sucks. <laughs> yeah. future the future past is a fucking series of massive going home. natural disasters. Right, so the future, you're not even Earth to live on. Where's the Earth gonna go? It's like it's gonna be here for a billion years. Is that what you believe is happening? That's, I don't have that kind of dark hope. I see beautiful things, and I will die believing in beautiful things, right or wrong. If you believe in dystopias, if you subscribe to dystopias, if you subscribe to dystopias, you need better fucking stories. Period. If you were the only person here, you'd go fucking bonkers. Bonkers. I would just, I would write, you fucking douche. I write all But there'd be no people. On Earth? I'd go crazy. On the planet? That's what you I'm said. Playing, you said, you said I'm when I'm the only, only one here. Here. I don't think. Yeah, enjoy the damn nerves. I don't think I meant enjoy everyone was going to die. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know what you mean, man. That's the weird thing about it. I don't. That that was a confusing one. I, let me go back and check. 